you want some full, thick hair like this, you better stick around. No, on the real, this actually works, so I'm not even lying. After five or six months on tea, I was losing hair by the handfuls. Every time I would go like this, it doesn't matter what time of the day, it doesn't matter how many times I did it in a row, it would be like handfuls. And I could feel, oh god, my hair felt like it was getting thinner. I'm not ready to go bald. I was barely six months on tea and then it was happening for months. It was happening until November when I started using this. This is not a product sponsorship, but this really did work for me and it actually worked in a week flat. And I know you're like, oh, it probably, your hair just stopped falling out that week. My hair was falling out every day, a lot, for six months straight. So after I would use this for a week, it full on almost stopped. It was just like a few here and there, like a normal person, how your hair, you know, shed. Because for six months, your hair falling out, that's not shedding, that's your hair falling out, you know what I mean? And there was an issue of my tea being a little too high, but I only lowered my dose a, a little bit, and it didn't do anything. So I started using this shampoo. It is called Shiny Leaf DHT Blocker Shampoo. I'm gonna explain DHT to you. It's really important for your beard and your head, but it does the opposite things for them. So really, this is really important information you need to know. I'm gonna say a statement before I go to that though. If this actually blocks DHT, I don't know, but I do know that it worked for me. And like I said, my hair stopped falling out. I did it, I was doing it every day uh, for the week and I did it every day for a little while and now I do it a few times a week. So DHT is dihydrotestosterone, meaning it is, your testosterone converts into DHT or estrogen. DHT is what helps those beard hairs spawn uh, you know, your chest hair, your back hair, your everything hair, all those androgenic hairs. It's what those follicles take to turn into a hair. But for your head, it's the opposite. The DHT makes your hair fall out to male pattern baldness, etc. If your genes are set up for you to go bald, I'm assuming you'll probably go bald eventually, but something like this could slow it down, potentially, at the very least. So that being said, DHT blocker is good for your head, not good for your beard, not good for your body. You don't want to inhibit your body hairs, unless you want to, but I personally don't. You don't really want to inhibit your beard hairs, unless you want to, I personally don't. But you would want to inhibit them from falling off of your head, because it's a different type of hair. I'm gonna give you instructions on how to use this, because it's really important, you don't want to f it up. I, what I do, is I always shake it. Always shake it, I'm only like halfway done with the bottle, that's how long it lasts. I do about, the middle of my palm full, and I mix it in mostly just on the top where your hairs fall out, because for the most part we don't get uh, baldness on the sides. And I make sure it does not get on my facial hair. It, I'm not gonna lie, it does sometimes. It does get right here. I go like this in the shower, I wipe it, I get it off me, and when I rinse it, I don't rinse it down my body, I just rinse my head down so it doesn't get on my body because I want body hair and I want facial hair to, to spawn. I don't want to inhibit those follicles from taking in DHT and turning into a hair. This is on Amazon, I'll give you a link. It's still like around 20 bucks, I believe. It does last a while, assuming you have shorter hair. This is as long as my hair's been in a really long time. If your hair is falling out, it doesn't hurt to use something like this. There are certain ingredients that block DHT or are DHT inhibitors, such as rosemary. I don't know how scientifically true that is, but it is known to apparently be a DHT inhibitor. Therefore, it prevents the DHT from getting to your follicles on your head and making your hairs fall out. I'll do more videos on DHT in head and especially beard growth. So DHT is good and bad. Bad for your head hair, good for your beard and body hair. Please keep that in mind. Don't get this on your body. If you do, it probably won't be that big of a deal. Maybe if you used it every single day as a body wash, you would inhibit some of your body hair growth. But we're in a stage where our hairs are still sprouting. It's not like we are fully at our fullest form. Does that make sense when you're on, when you're just a year or two or three or five years on tea even? That's why people that are transitioning should worry about the whole DHT blocker thing. A lot of cis men will say, oh, don't worry about it. It won't make much of a difference when they're doing the minoxidil for their beard. They'll worry about, oh, I don't want to put this beard oil because of the DHT blockers in it. And people will tell them to not worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. But I think for people that are still in th that type of puberty, it is a big deal because those hairs have literally not sprouted out and may never because there's 
not enough DHT or your DHT is getting blocked by something. In most cases, it's better to be safe than sorry and just start your treatment rather than waiting for yourself to go bald or go too bald when you can't, you know, reverse all of those changes, you know what I mean? So, not a sponsorship, but if you do buy it, you know, comment in the Amazon comments and tell them how you found out about it. I don't make money from anything. I don't make money from Instagram. I don't make money from YouTube. I don't make money from the reviews I do. I don't make any money doing this. This is me putting out information because I care about my community and I think the information should be out there. And that's the DHT, sis. Thank y'all for watching, I really appreciate it. But if you do try this out and it does work for you, comment down below, come back, message me on Instagram. I wanna see how other people experience this because like I said, it worked for me and it worked very fast. And I wanna share that with y'all. So that is that, I hope that's helpful and peace out everybody.